San Diego Padres pitching has been struggling, but we are only in the beginning of the season. At the same time, people are starting to think we're going to trade for a humongous superstar ace. How's it going, everybody? My name is Fan Fry. Welcome back to another video. Where today, we're going to be discussing the San Diego Padres now starting to get in a conversation about one Corbin Burns who is a perennial Cy Young candidate since probably the 2020 season, this guy is the ace's ace. Padres have been kind of lackluster with starting pitching to start the year. Musgrove being injured obviously is big and doing stupid stuff like this. Kick the pitch and a swing and a liner off of Musgrove's body. It ricochets off his body to the grass in front of the mound and he throws wildly. Up Isn't making it any better. But at the same exact time, you Darvish has been somewhat okay. Not the guy we wanted to sign for six more years. And Blake Snell does not seem like the Blake Snell that we were once hoping he was going to be. So with all these great guys who are still, you know, very good pitchers, we are still missing an ace. And in the mind of Dennis Lynn, Padres beat reporter, we're going to get an ace probably. He had an interesting quote. It went a little like this. Preller could be especially aggressive in pursuing his first trade since last summer. The Padres will see a potential number one target and Brewers ace Corbin Burns this weekend at Petco Park because the Brewers are coming to Petco and he is going to pitch against the Padres. And let's be honest, this guy dices. We know how good Corbin Burns is, but I feel like, you know, kind of a la Josh Hader, so to say, the Padres could be making a move to get this guy. Obviously, the Padres don't have the farm system they once had, but is slowly rebuilding and coming together. I mean, let's not forget, we have great prospects across the board. A lot of them are untouchable. And a question I'm going to ask you is, are you willing to trade away Jackson Merrill to get Corbin Burns? Corbin Burns still has years of control, not that many, but Jackson Merrill is a guy that's seen to be the future of the San Diego Padres. This is just honestly something I want to throw out into the realm of discussion. From Bakersfield, California, the ace himself, Corbin Burns, two games started this year, 9.1 innings pitch, 9.64 ERA, so he's just a little over an earned run in inning. He's not starting well, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, let's not forget 2020, 2.11 ERA, 2021, 2.43 ERA, 2022, 2.94 ERA. This guy pitches in big games and he delivers he's gonna go out there he's gonna eat innings he threw 200 innings in 2022 this guy is an ace he is an ace's ace and i would say in my opinion outside of sandy alcantara the best guy that the padres could acquire for a rotation i'm not saying they can acquire i'm saying they could i think it's the best option i think he's a top three pitcher in the national league him urias of course and Sandy Alcantara. Those are the big guys. And yes, I think pitchers are a little thrown off by the pitch clock. And Sandy Alcantara just got rocked too. But at the end of the day, this guy is legit. With a pitch arsenal of cutter, changeup, curveball, slider, and sinker. He has kind of slowed away from his sinker this year. But at the same time, this guy can pitch. And I am not joking. I mean, this is one of the best pitchers in baseball. I don't know any other way to put it. I think if the Padres can acquire him, like I think there's a possibility of it, I would do it, man. And you're wondering, hey, why would the Brewers want to trade something away like this? You know, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it simple. His relationship with the Brewers has fallen apart, similar to Josh Hader's. I mean, this guy said, hey, I'm in spring training. He said, they took me away from my family to come to spring training early. Not only did he say that, he also mentioned the fact that, hey, them collapsing last year, the Brewers put a lot of pressure on him saying, this is on you, dude, which Corbin Burns, I mean, the guy almost finished top five in Cy Young voting, if I'm not mistaken. I think he actually was, but for whatever reason, they think it's his fault that they fell apart, which I'm not going to lie to you. It wasn't. It was the bullpen. You know, it was their lineup not producing enough offense. Why throw it on your ace? And kind of similar to with Josh Hader, they were putting a lot of pressure on him and saying, hey, the reason we're playing bad is it's Josh Hader. Well, another man's trash easily became another man's treasure. And Josh Hader has been elite since he came to San Diego. Uh, he had a bad beginning. We all know this. 
but he has not been dealing the way that he's been dealing in years. This is the best Josh Hader's look since he first came up. The last question is what type of deal would it take to get Corbin Burns? I think you have to give up Jackson Merrill. If you're going all in, you have to give up Jackson Merrill. Obviously, it's going to sting. You're going to have to give up a couple more players with him. But at the end of the day, it's going to be centered around Jackson Merrill. It's early into the season. Who knows where his value is going to be at? But I really wouldn't be shocked if Corbin Burns ends up getting traded at the deadline to our San Diego Padres. That is going to wrap up this video, guys. If you are yet to subscribe, please do so. Same thing with that like button. And I'll see you guys all in a video very, very soon. Peace.